Today we are going to discuss rambling sentences. It may be tempting to keep building your story, jabbering away, till you finally reach the grand conclusion, but this can be confusing to your readers. To prevent this confusion, and to learn how to properly organize your sentences, we must know what a clause is. Independent clauses uh, contain both a subject and a predicate. It can also stand alone. For example, the dog is brown makes sense all by itself because it expresses a complete idea. The cat jumped also makes sense all by itself. Dependent clauses do not make sense by themselves. For example, if someone said, and is full of fleas, or if they said, because mom dropped the pan, you would have no idea what they were talking about. If you put them together, then they both can stand. They also make more sense. It is important to understand clauses in order to avoid these long, rambling sentences. Sentences are clearest when they say what they need to say with just the right mix of independent and dependent clauses. Too many clauses overload the sentence and make reading it a marathon. Think of a period like a finish line. Don't make your reader gasp for air before they reach it. Instead, break up big sentences with lots of clauses by separating the ideas with a period. Your reader will thank you, and you'll be writing like a real champion. Next, let's look at some examples of rambling sentences. Here is an example of a rambling sentence. I tried to go up the stairs, but I was too small to put my legs over just the first step. Then I had to venture into the dreaded bottom of our couch so my huge dogs, Gus and Kendred, wouldn't try to eat me like they did with every bug they've ever seen. This is an example of a rambling sentence. Notice that there are several ideas occurring within this sentence. Let's look at how we might organize this sentence so that it properly expresses each idea. Here we separated the sentence into two independent clauses and two dependent clauses. I tried to go up the stairs, expresses a complete thought or idea, while I was too small to put my legs over even the first step, does not make sense by itself, but does when combined with independent clauses. The part about the couch represents a new idea and so should be separated from the sentence about the stairs, and again we see the dependent clause supported by the independent clause just before it. Now let's take a few moments and think about how you would organize this sentence keeping in mind what we have learned about clauses.
There are several ways to reorganize a sentence, but this is one way you could do it. What did you come up with? We write so that we can share our ideas. It is important that we share these ideas in ways that are clear and easy to understand. Take what we have learned today and write some of your own ideas.